Okay, so if you l want to live on the wild side like me, you head on over to your account, you click on your little icon in the top right hand corner there, click on settings, and then select AI from the menu here. And then you can choose things like around permissions here. Also something to note here is models are set up by default from here. You can configure that if you'd like when it comes to base model and then planning models that you wanna use for planning. Then uh, apply code diffs or say an agent decides, I'm gonna tell it to always allow for that just right now. And reading files, it can read files and executing commands. Ah, I don't wanna always allow that. I'm gonna pause on that actually because I don't want it to just totally brick my system by accident. All right. Let's continue from here. I'm gonna tell it to apply changes. Oh, there's also another option down here that says auto approve all agent actions for this task. I'm gonna click on that. Ooh, okay, it just made a directory. That scared me a little when I see these command line commands. It created a public folder within the warp 2.0 directory. It truly is scary giving some tool like this, like full autonomy on your system. I don't, I don't like, I just don't like that feeling. It's a very stomach turning feeling. <laughs> Maybe I should have backed up my system before doing this. Putting a lot of trust in warp right now. 